So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click that red subscribe button down there and make sure you leave me a comment too if you're new. I always like to meet new people and say hi. So if you say hi to me below, whether you're an existing subscriber or a new subscriber, I'll be sure and say hi back. So I thought this was a really cool place to set up camp. Big oak forest here, tons of oak leaves on the ground. Got my Hennessy hammock set up there. And then a whole forest full of oaks and you've got this lonely little pine tree here. It's the only pine tree I can see in this whole forest. So today I've got the AquaQuest Bivy. Now I've shown you some tarps and some packs from AquaQuest. They're really the leader when it comes to uh, waterproof gear in my opinion. A bivy is an important part of any survival kit, bug out bag, get home bag, or just when you're day hiking or camping or, or even an overnighter if the weather is moderate. A lot of times, as I'm going to show you in a minute, you can just set up a hammock and use a bivy, maybe with or without a blanket. And in the winter, you can use a bivy, especially a waterproof bivy just like this, to go over your sleeping bag and create a waterproof barrier if you're sleeping on the ground, you know, with a tarp or something like that or even in a tent, it will add, I believe, five degrees of warmth. Not much, but it'll add something. And for as lightweight and small as these bivvies are, they're definitely a necessity in my book when it comes to uh, a survival kit. So you can get a lot of cheap bivvies. You know, they're basically just glorified Mylar blankets. You know, they do pack a little bit smaller, but they're gonna end up ripping on you. They're not gonna provide much, in much insulation. And a lot of those just are not waterproof. And we're gonna be testing out the waterproof ability of this AquaQuest bivy today. So it comes in a stuff sack, uh, just like all of their stuff, really nice stuff sack. You just got a nylon hook here, you can hang it. It's got a nice cord lock on it, some nylon, which I'll probably replace this with paracord as I do on most of my stuff sacks. But pulling this out of the stuff sack, you can see that this one's in green. It comes in green and orange. It has a nice large foot box on the end here. It has 70D nylon material, similar to the tarps that I've shown you. It's extra wide so that it can accommodate putting a sleeping bag inside, similar to the military sleep system. This is similar to the Gore-Tex bivy that you would find with that waterproof bivy that you can put over another sleeping bag or use it standalone on warmer nights or things like that. Especially if you're sleeping on the ground, this will give you that waterproof protection. It's got tape seams. It's got dual zips along both sides so that it makes it really easy to slip in and out of. And especially if you're putting a sleeping bag inside, it makes it easy for that. Also on the bottom, it has a tie down too so that you could stake down the end of it if it's really windy or something like that so it won't move on you in the middle of the night. You can see the zips have this extra rain flap that goes over the top of them to help keep the moisture out. And then on the inside, of course, you can see here that they are taped on both sides, real similar to how they do their tarps. It's got elastic in the hood, which is a nice feature. But basically, it's just that. It's just a bivy that you would uh, put over another sleeping bag or use standalone. So another really nice feature of this Hennessy hammock, not only do you have the ridge line and you have the bug net that zips on, but it's really easy to clip on the tarp portion to the ends here, and then you have the snake skins. It's very easy to uh, deploy and stow away. And it also has these ties here that I just have thrown into a stake in the ground because it is really windy today but it keeps your hammock in one place which is really nice so if you guys want to see a review on the Hennessy hammock make sure you go back in my videos and take a look how I plan on using this bivy is just like this in my hammock I plan on doing a lot of hammock camping and hiking this year so I'm just going to use that standalone on the warmer nights but then I also could put a sleeping bag on the inside it's going to keep me nice and waterproof uh, even with the tarp on the top it's nice to have that extra guarantee and then of course if I do any camping on the ground I'll definitely want to have that bivy as well So I'm also testing out the Silver Fire Scout today. I'm gonna to be using this stove a lot and I'll have an upcoming review on it. It's a super efficient gasification stove. So I'm just cooking it really hot right now. I got a steak on there. I'm just gonna sear both sides and then I'm gonna let it cool down quite a bit and cook the rest of the steak through. Thank you. 
A lot of you guys have been asking me what kind of bag this is too. It's a Frost River Isle Royal Junior. Kristen got this for me, so I've been using it quite a lot so far this spring, and I'm going to use it all summer. And I'll give you guys a review. I mean, this pack doesn't even really need a review. It's just such an awesome pack. There's other videos on it, but I'll show you guys a review. Uh, you know, once I've uh, used it quite a bit more. So my steak is just about browned on both sides, and then I'll let the stove cool down a little bit and cook it all the way through. The Silver Fire Stout stove is a pure gasification stove. So you can see that there's literally no smoke. The only smoke you're seeing is from the oil in the pan. There's literally no smoke from the stove itself, and it's super high efficient. So I'm really pleased with it so far, and I'll have a review coming up on that as well. So I assume you guys want to see me eat some of this steak. Mm. Nothing better than steak in the woods. Alright guys, so what would a waterproof bivy test be without a waterproof test? Time to make it rain. Alright, so I'm just going to climb in here like I normally would and just make sure all the zippers are zipped and we'll see what happens. All right, so we soaked this thing down for about five to 10 minutes. And I didn't feel like I got wet at all. You can see it was pooling near my legs there. All right, from my pants all the way up to my shirt, it did keep me watertight. The only thing that got a little wet was my hair. Some of the spray from the hose came and got me in the face a little bit when I sat up one time. Other than that, my socks did get a little bit wet when I stood up. The reason for that is it was pooling water on the tarp and it came into the zipper a little bit. You know, you have the taped zippers and then you have the flaps, but they're not secured or anything like that. So it was able to get into that zipper a little bit. So short of sitting in a pool of water where it's not gonna be watertight, it was very watertight as far as you know the light rain and the heavy rain goes. Now over a period of time, you know, if you were getting rained on for days, I'm not sure you know how it would hold up then, but I'm satisfied that it will keep you watertight with or without a sleeping bag in a moderate rain which is all I really wanted to test. The only thing I might suggest is maybe they put Velcro down the sides in a few more places. There is Velcro at the top, but maybe down the side in a few more places, and that would help keep that flap down a little bit more. But again, if you're sitting in, in standing water, if you stand in standing water with the sleeping bag like I did when I stood up, you know, it's gonna get in where those zippers are regardless. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video today, taking a look at the AquaQuest Bivy. Like I said, it comes in green and orange, 70D nylon ripstop, just like their tarp, so it's really durable. Extra large foot box, extra wide on the sides with dual zips, 
and not only dual zips, but zips that go both ways on both sides, so it's really easy to get in and out of. So weighing in at just a pound, it's perfect for your survival kits, bug out bags, using standalone or with a sleeping bag, or like with a hammock system like I'm gonna do this summer. So hiking and backpacking, it's great for that as well with the ultra low weight. So like I said, it's a lot higher quality than some of those cheap Mylar, you know, blankets that are sewn together that they call bivvies. This is indeed a true bivvy, just like something you'd find on a sleep system. And you can use it standalone or in addition with a sleeping bag to give you that waterproof ability, especially with those taped seams. So I really like it. I'm looking forward to enjoying it more this summer when I'm hiking and camping and things like that. You know, if you're laying on the ground, it's going to work perfectly for that or in addition uh, with a sleeping bag in a tent or like I'm going to use it for in my hammock. All right, guys, so give this video a huge thumbs up and leave me some comments below, especially if you're new to my channel and just subscribed. Make sure you say hi and I'll say hi back. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.